Hey y'all, it is Sierra again, round two. <laughs> so, I got a little flower in my hair. So, uh, the first video was just like me introducing myself, me introducing my poetry, me introducing who I am as a person. Yes. Um, so, this second round is a little bit more on the personal side. Uh, I actually contemplating whether or not I should do this poem. One of my favorite poems I've written before, like a while ago. Um, but I decided to go, well, I didn't decide anything. My boyfriend encouraged me to do it. He told me, you know, in order for me to live in my truth, I just have to do what is real, you know? <laughs> so uh, he encouraged me. Um, he was like, you can't just hide behind things that maybe make you embarrassed or you don't want your family to hear you say or do because we're all humans and we all do things that are not as great. So um, he gave me the courage to talk about something that was uh, hard for me to talk to, <laughs> to mention to other people about. Like, I have no problem mentioning it I just did not want my family to hear about it because it's a personal matter and I don't, I don't want them to have to worry about me. Um, but I wrote this poem uh, a while ago. It's called What Was Taken From Me. Um, and it was an amazing <laughs> poem. Uh, it's got me a little emotional over here. <laughs> I was practicing before I started recording. Um, so I'm a little leaky, <laughs> um, but I am excited to share with you guys. It is one of my more raw poems. Um, I tend to have more poems that are um, sad. Yeah, um, as my auntie would say, I do a very, um, very sad, melancholy poems. I don't know. I smile a lot. People wouldn't think that I would write sad poems, but that's kind of my thing. So, um, <laughs> if you're into sadness and realness, keep on keeping on on my page. <laughs> so, this is what was taken from me. Like I said, it is a poem about uh, having a great loss taken away from you. Um, it is um, very much a emotional situation. <laughs> um, and so, just bear with me. Um, because this is something I don't um, usually broadcast. So, just bear with me because this is a poem about something that's very personal to me. Okay, so this is what was taken from me. What was taken from me? I'll give you a hint. This is something I can never get. What was taken from me was such a shame it should never return again. What was taken from me happened so quick is something I will surely miss. What was taken from me, I was there, but I did not know it was taken until the end. The end. What was taken from me it made me cry, made me wish I'd never tried. What was taken from me it was on that Tuesday. At least that's what we called it. What was taken from me made me not want to remember that day. What was taken from me made me cry all night. But I couldn't tell you that. I couldn't tell you how I felt that night. So I told you one simple lie. Why did I tell you this lie? Why? I didn't want to hurt you, that's why. What was taken from me was so dear and so rich and so pure. What you took from me while the end was near. Thank you uh, for tuning in. If you liked it, please go on my page, like, comment, subscribe. Um, 
Thank you so much for everyone who supported me for my first video. It was amazing. All of my family and friends, you guys are amazing. Love you much, so much. Uh, I am truly grateful for all of you guys. Like, you guys mean a lot to me. So, thank you for watching and commenting and supporting me and posting me and reposting me on your Facebook pages. It really means a lot to me. I am truly blessed to have all of you as um, friends and family. So thank you. Uh, and also, if you can't find my page, you literally can type in uniquely written, uh, U-N-I, uh, the little thingy in the sky, commas in the sky. Ooh, that's bad. Capital Q-U-E-L-Y, uh, uniquely, that's uniquely. And then written, W-R-I-T-T-E-N. And you can find me that way. So, if not, I mean, just check out my Facebook. I usually post the links there. Uh, or even my Instagram. So, no pro no problemo. Ooh, I stumbled. I stumbled so hard. I stumbled so hard. No problemo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a note, again, that I wrote at the end of my poem. Um, I feel a little jumbled today, so I'm sorry if I don't seem kind of smooth like the first one. Uh, so I put, I was pure in the eyes of the Lord until your roaming hands set sight on my promised land. My promised land is not tainted. It is a wasteland. A wasteland where only two inhabits the foundation. You in me. I'm stuck at this dreaded, dry, miserable little island. I'm stuck because you told me you loved me. And like a fool, I believed you. Now I'm anchored to you. Thank you for watching my video, y'all. Comment, like, and subscribe. And if you like it, shit, come back. <laughs> Bye.